Josie Davis, and you're watching Scott Martin TV. I love this girl. And it's not just because she's looking so magnificent tonight. Why don't you turn around for me, Josie? She's looking hot, hot, hot at Jack Lane's 95th birthday party. How amazing is that? 95th. Juice, juice, juice. That's all I have to say. You've done it? Juice? Yes, of course. Are you kidding? I'm a huge, I'm an orange juice fan. You know you have to drink it within the first 15 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe I told you that. Maybe you did. <laughs> Do you have a Jack Lane power juicer? I don't, but I have his t-shirt that says Jack Lane power juicer and I sleep in it and it's the cutest thing in the world. You know, I have to say, I've been on some locations with Josie where we gifted her some things. And I'm going to call out to Jack tonight because, you know, I think he should give this one, if you look at this one, a power juicer. If you get a power juicer, I would die. Of course I would. Well, no, I, I would live longer, actually, really. Yeah. Okay, Jack. Jack, I know you're way generous tonight because it's your birthday. So we're going to get a juicer for Josie. <laughs> I, I think that's a very doable thing. Happy birthday! I hope I am 20, I'm not 25. I hope I am 95 as well one day. And you will be. This one right here is a doer. She is on TV constantly and has a bunch of projects in the works. Tell them about it. I am reoccurring on CSI New York. I just got back from New York. I've been in LA, New York. I'm coming back to LA to do more. And uh, I just finished Bones and I'm now shooting the comedy Chuck. Then going back to shoot CSI New York again. <laughs> So are you loving touring from back to New York, LA, back and forth, back and forth? Got to work with Ski Ulrich and, and who's very, very talented and Gary Sinise and, and we got to work together and the stuff's awesome. I'm so excited and I love New York and to shoot in the middle of the, uh, the intersection during rush hour traffic was pretty amazing and the scenes were awesome. Very excited. If you want to see more, go to JosieDavis.com and I'll hopefully post some pictures up of that. You know, this one is a motivator, like I said. And I want you to part some words out to your viewers and fans out there into Scott Harden TV and tell them what you think about artists trying to make their way. And if they feel stuck, what advice would you give them? Well, I would have to get specific on what they're stuck about. Let's say they go up against an audition and they don't get it and they're discouraged. They're like, you know what? I'm going back home to Arkansas. Why don't you say that? If you're really bad, go back to Arkansas. If you think you're really good and people think you're really good, stick around and you, you've got to be persistent and keep working harder and harder. But you can't take any of this rejection personally at all. If I did, I would have quit a long time ago. I mean, it's a spiritual process to keep going and to just not take it personally. Go on to the next thing and know that when you're on the right path, you're on the right path. My career has gone up and down, up and down, and you never know. Who's been your biggest mentors? Say Oprah is just so inspirational. I, I, I don't know. I feel, and I don't feel like I'm doing enough. And I have to. You're gonna laugh when I say this, but I think Ryan Seacrest is amazing. <laughs> to do what he does, and he's doing it. I, 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 yeah. But also, I was watching Martin Luther King's speech the other day, and I just, I was, I had chills, and I, that inspired me too. I don't feel like I'm doing enough big things, but I, I, I hope that my voice will grow as my career does. My voice will be more important. I can help more people on this earth because that's one of the reasons I'm here. And you know what? What? We're moving people right now just through the words that you imparted and you're inspiring those. So when you said, well, what question can I answer? You just did it. You just inspired people who are stuck right now because they're like, I want to be like her. Well, I hope so. Thanks. Keep your eyes on Josie Davis. She is clearly making it happen and we're going to get her a juicer. Jack, cough it up.